Welcome back. So we have two objects here, our eyes and our Suzanne. So let's switch back into object mode with tab and notice we can click on the two different objects here. So go ahead and just practice doing that. Just clicking on both of those objects. And what we're going to do now is combine these with the bool tool and the bool tool is here under edit and yours may be in a different position, but that's okay. Um, notice it's not appearing right here because it's twiddled up. So just twiddle that down right there and we've noticed we've got all different types of booleans so we've got auto booleans and these are going to be more destructive so when i mean destructive it's like it's going to add the eyes to the head but it's going to like blend them permanently so we can't ever go back and make adjustments to the eyes uh, so what i want you to get used to using are the brush booleans and these are much more powerful and much more flexible um, so let's go ahead and do that so what i want you to do to add the eyes to the head is click on the eyes so you want to say blender i want the eyes to be added to the head so then we'll shift click to the head and now we can do a brush boolean union and watch what happens in our modifier stack over here. So we'll just click on union, bloop, and there we go. Now we've got this little box that's appeared and that's to let you know the, the command or the operation, the bool tool union has happened. And if we click on Suzanne's head, notice we have a modifier that has appeared for us and this is a boolean modifier. So this is just adding and subtracting objects together. You can also intersect, but we're not going to talk about that too much today. Uh, but mainly uh, the first things I want you to learn are adding and subtracting objects. So right here we have union and it's under exact and we're adding our eyes to the mesh here. So this is a very powerful workflow because we don't have to, um, you know, it's not like a permanent change. We could always come back in here and grab our eyes layer and move them around if we were, if we wanted to, but Blender still blending these objects together for us in real time. So it's very, very cool. Now we have technically combined Suzanne's eyes to her head, right? But so say if we clicked on Suzanne and grabbed it with G, notice our eyes aren't coming with the head here. And that can be a problem sometimes if you want your Booleans to stay together exactly how you have them. So what I want you to do is go over to your layers panel and we're going to take our eyes, this little box here, and drag the eyes on top of Suzanne while holding shift. And notice as I'm clicking shift, there's a little text that's kind of above. It says move inside collection, control to link, shift to parent. We want to do shift. So I'm just hovering over Suzanne, holding shift. And now it says drop to set parent, hold alt to keep transform. And we're not going to go into that, but uh, just for right now, just hold shift and drop your your eyes onto Suzanne. And notice now, if we click on Suzanne's head and hit G, the eyes are gonna stay parented to the monkey here. And so if we twiddle down Suzanne, notice our eyes are still there. We can always go back into edit mode and make adjustments, but um, they're, they're parented. Uh, the eyes are essentially seeing this Suzanne head as its mother or its parent, it's going to do uh, whatever you do. So say if we, even if we rotated, you know, it's all going to stay together like a nice little family. <laughs> so that's what I wanted you to be familiar with is just adding a, a union uh, bool tool or brush boolean union and then how to parent those objects together because we're going to do that workflow quite often as we do more intermediate and advanced lessons. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where we're going to talk about subtracting objects together.